All right, hey guys, here we have a Casablanca 5 blade zephyr in polished brass. This is another fan that's been put on backlog as I haven't really had much time to do anything fan related. Um, I've always really thought the 5 blade zephyr was kind of cool. Um, just because you don't usually see um, GE vents with 5 blades. I mean, you do, but 4 blades just seems like it was a little bit more common. Um, I don't know, I just always thought they were kind of unique. I don't know if I really have a preference between the two. Five five blades is just kind of cool, but I think four blades is more than norm, so people like it more. Anyways, yeah, this fan was manufactured November 21st, 1988, and was the 380th fan made that day. Um, as far as finishes go polish brass isn't one of my favorite but I think adding a reflective blade um, to a reflective fan just works really well like if, if you were to put your standard oak on this I probably wouldn't like it as much but I just think the gloss oak really complements the polished brass um, but yeah that aside, um, I actually really do like it in this combination. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's go take a look at it. Another thing I like is that Casablanca actually painted the sides of the blade. I, I just think that was a really cool, really cool touch. Not so much necessary, but I don't know. I just think it makes makes the fan. Alright. Let's go ahead and do demo mode. For testing purposes, I am using a W11 as a W32 does not like to cooperate. We had speculations that W32 would in fact work on W11 fans, or boards. Um, not flawlessly, apparently. I wish I had a place to install this. Make like a really nice breakfast looking um, fan. My mom doesn't really care for polished brass though, so getting it by her is going to be kind of a challenge. This has a really nice low speed. It's almost like slumber quiet, but obviously it's Intel Touch. Alright, let's go to speed two.
you know, those blades are pretty unaligned. So the fact that it doesn't want those is pretty impressive. And speed six. Now these are said to be the slowest of the Casablancas. I really can't tell a difference between this and the Panama. But, you know, obviously between this and the Four Seasons, you know, it's like no comparison. Those things are like a little tornado. church kind of plan. Um, Lutheran churches usually have more, um, I want to say more architecture. They're usually smaller. Um, the ones that I've been in have all had fans. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just think these would look real nice in like a sanctuary. Thing. I wish I had some room solid. Alright, well being that this is a four five blade four five blade flywheel, we're also going to do the four blade configuration and I will be right back. Alright, well here's the four blade configuration. Um yeah, I don't know. For some reason I just like this better. Five blades is I just think it's cooler, but this just seems more correct. <laughs> if if that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Demo mode. Let's go ahead and get it to your general settings. Starting off on speed one. Let's 
teaching you know, that sell that. Okay, I, I didn't know that. So yeah, yeah, I guess it says in your bank cashier. Speed two. Yeah, because I remember when the bearings on several of these. I'm pretty sure this one got away. I don't know how it wouldn't have. Back on speed one. A little fluke in the system there. Yeah, spin down seems appropriate, so I don't know why it would have stalled. I guess I'll have to check the capacitor out and see if it's being a little wonky. Yeah, maybe they are a little stiff. Alright, well there's my Casablanca Zephyr. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.